Burning Bridges, August 21. Big announcement day at Compound. It's also the Eclipse Day. I don't know if they had the, uh, that was planned, but it's going to be a special, special day. We have somebody in the audience, Steve Torelli. He tells all the pictures for the, uh, you made some really good pictures, Steve. No, but this one, did you do the, the Burning Bridges one? The one? I didn't do that one. No, because we, you've done so many other ones that, that I wanted to kind of use, and then I, but I, I, re, I always retweet stuff that you do if I like it, because then I can either use it for a T-shirt or use it for, use it for, um, use it if we wanted to change this picture, because some hey, of them are really good. You can use them. So, uh, uh, and you do that for a living? No. Nah. What do you do for a living? Work at a uh, like copy print type. Oh, but store. you're in that kind of thing, yeah, that, that kind much. of business. Okay, and you're from More Philadelphia. Hobby. You're from Philadelphia. Yeah, Delco, baby. Uh, from where in Philadelphia? Right outside of Delco, in Delco. Yeah, De I'm from there, Philadelphia. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, like Villanova. No, uh, Ridley area. Oh, poor I people. Know. Anyway, unfortunately. <laughs> Jesus no, I didn't know I was, I didn't. Don't the remind thing was, me. No, the thing was, I didn't know, um, like, people were like, you know, my wife, you know, she's from the Bronx, you know, so she's like, ah, you were rich. Just, no, because we had 10 kids, so we always lived in a big house. And then now looking back, we did live, like, in a good area, but just because they were, that's where the big houses were. Plus, my dad was a lawyer, you know, so he made, he made okay money. But it wasn't like we were rich, and we didn't live rich. You know, we only, we had one car, one TV. If the TV broke, we didn't, that was the end of that, you know. So then my wife, will, you know, when we go back to my, where my mom lives or whatever, she'll, she'll be like, oh, my God, look how rich you are. I'm like, we weren't, <laughs> no, we weren't rich, you know. We had to pay for school. Yeah, we, we, we had to go to college. Like, I had to go to St. Joe's. My brother went to, okay. went to St. Joe's. How you had to, can, you had to go to school. You had to, you had to live at home and to go to college. You, if you, they weren't going to pay for us to go away to school. So if you, if you wanted to go away, you had to pay yourself. So I went to St. Joe's, you know, which is just like, a, it's like, it was like the extent, I went to Carroll, you know, Archbishop yeah, Carroll, yeah. which is based, so St. Joe's is like the basic extension of Carroll, you know what I mean? It's like Catholic girls who won't fuck you, you know, and then like the three girls that, that, that were, that did fuck people, everybody, you know, everybody thought they were whores, you know, yeah. everybody wanted to, it was lining up to fuck them. So it was, it, it was not, it was not good. It's not like I went to Penn State where I was getting drunk and, you know, maybe dying of alcohol poisoning and like. Fucking a lot, cause my friends would go to like Mount St. Mary's in, in Maryland, and they were all they they had like the best time. You know, they're just drinking all the time, and then I was living at home. Anyway, so let's I'll bring in a guest now. We got two guests. Uh, uh, one of them you're familiar with. One of them's new. Uh, yeah, let's bring him in. I don't even know what I'm doing. This is a second show. We did a pre-tape because we're off next week, so uh, this show could easily suck because I could be all tapped out. So uh, I'm not I'm not making any promises. Because we did a pre-tape for this week. No, we did a pre-tape for uh, next week because they're – the, Kumi has closed next – Compound's closed next week because they have uh, – um, um, they have to do a lot of technical stuff. So they're, And today's a big announcement. Do you know today was a big announcement, Tom? No, it's a big announcement. I didn't hear it. Did you already say it? No, it's not my announcement. <laughs> okay, what is it? Well, Kumi is going to announce his, uh, his, his uh, co-host. Oh. They're going to be um, – there's going to be people coming in. They're, they're going to play a game. We're like, we don't know who it is. Oh, they're doing that on Kumia today. Yeah. So I have to pre I have to remember, remind myself not to mention it because I could have mentioned it on the earlier show because it's a pre-tape. Did you do I, an earlier show too? today? I already did a show. So when's this go live? It's live now, but I'm saying we did a pre-tape at 12 o'clock today. Oh, so I could have mentioned it then because it's not going to be out till next week. But I was still afraid to do it because if, if, it, got, if it somehow leaked, they'd still blame me because I always get blamed. Blame for shit I don't even do. You know who it is? Yeah, of course I know who it is. Who is it? I, I can't say it. What are you trying you? to do? Huh? You? Are you a possibility? No. If it was, if it was even a possibility. <laughs> no, they already told me. They already told me who it was. They told me weeks ago, and I didn't tell nobody. I thought That's I would see people on the road. They'd be like, "Is it so and so?" I'd be like, I, "It's it's not a bad choice." Mm -hmm. Like, because I didn't want it to get back to me, you know, because these guys are all Italian and they'll have me whacked. Sure. For no reason. I mean, that's a good reason. Anyway. We got uh, NPR Tom. Hey, thanks for having me back. Good what's to see your, you. Uh, wait, what's your um, what's your nickname? What's your what's your preferred nickname? <laughs> I don't. You have a lot of fucking Tommy nicknames Tom. for me. <laughs> My favorite nickname for him, you is cocksucker. <laughs> Am I right? We call him. We call him. Really? Where are you at? Why isn't he drawing pictures over there right now? Um, First of all, uh, and Derek Gaines is here. Derek, uh, mm -hmm. is comedy? If you're a comedian, is comedy Tom a bad nickname? Nah, 
especially with a guy who wants to name his album Funny Matic. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Funny Matic? Funny Matic is the name of his first album coming what out. That, what does that even mean? <laughs> Uh, well, there's the Nas like album. Automatic? No, there's the Nas album, Illmatic. Have you heard of that? 1994. Yeah, I've heard of Nas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with like seven A's. Nas. <laughs> One S. Um, yeah, no, Comedy Time's fine. Comedy Club. Comedy Club. Comedy Club. <laughs> That's pretty oh, good. Nice. I have a sketch I'm going to do where I'm going <laughs> to be right now. Comedy <laughs> Club. I'll pitch it to you real quick. I'm going to be inside of like a gigantic brick wall and my face is going to be peeking out and just my arms and I'm just going to walk around and just tell jokes. Comedy Club. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, it's happening. You're going to do it on the street? Yes. It's a, a donation? An, an MOS. <laughs> what, if they get, what, if they get, what if you get tipped over? Then, You're going to be in like in a big box? I'm going to have a big costume. How's your family? They're good. They're well. Dad's still mad at me? He said something about you today. <laughs> He said, he said, you're going to miss the eclipse. And I was like, I'll be eclipsed by Kevin. <laughs> and then he was like, Derek won't get eclipsed by him. And I was like, all right. I'm worried about that eclipse because what if my kids go blind? That'll be tough. Because I'm not, I'm supposed to be home protecting them, right? Just <laughs> stay in the house, right? So. Is this, this is the live one? This is live? Oh, wow. Where is this? Pretty cool. I don't know, it just said PBS. That's nice. Oh, so they're just said PBS. They're just showing. They're they're just showing it. They're not. They're not uh, talking about it. They just keep showing how close it gets. Like a halved peach. Sure. It's fucking weird. That's nice. Wow. This is good medieval music. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say like it's it's beautiful. It's just like it's just there. So it's night. So it's nighttime. It's nighttime where the where it's like a full eclipse. Is that, what's, is that what the deal is? I remember when I was a kid, they had a full like eclipse. A slit. Uh, what was that like? And then they just said, you can't, you had to, like, back in the day, you, you would cut it, you would, you would get a shoebox, and you would, you would get a pin, and you would cut a hole, you would pop a hole in the shoebox. Or put, like, aluminum over it, and then put the pin in the aluminum. You know, yeah, and that was the only grade. way. Otherwise, you'd go blind, you know. Uh, but, uh... Don't they not even like that way now? Huh? Like, they don't even think that's a good... Because no, now, now there's so much publicity for anything dumb like this that people uh -huh. are trying to make money, and they're trying to make it bigger than it is. Like, Florentine was on the earlier show. He said, no one's going to go blind from this. Like, like what are the odds someone go blind? But someone's going to say they went blind uh -huh. and then sue the son or whatever. Or sue. <laughs> <laughs> Class action lawsuit? Yeah, like, you know how lawyers are. <laughs> they get real Jewy about this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. You know that son will be uh, lawyered up, too. That's that son will be fucking, yeah. Oh, my God. More than OJ. Yeah, for anyway. sure. <laughs> Eric, uh, is it true people, black people are still? Derek's black, everybody, in case you're uh, not watching. It's him. No, but uh, uh, Chad Zumak was saying he was at, he, he was talking to Godfrey. Godfrey has a show on um, Sirius. Mm -hmm. and he said, he just recently said, all oh, black people are still like, yeah, OJ, OJ, they're still happy about the OJ Thing, but that's not it's, that's not true, right? No, it's uh, it's uh, it's aged out. <laughs> it is aged out. Uh, are I, the, mean, I can't believe people are still like high fiving about OJ. It's, it's aged out. The juice has been loose, and you know we all know he did it, but <laughs> we don't care. It's gonna be great when he gets out of uh, jail. Yeah, I mean that's gonna be great. It's taking so long. <laughs> I thought he was already supposed to get out. No, but then I got to do all the paperwork, and that takes like six months. The incarceration process is very slow. Sure, and I've never dealt with it like in like. That kind of a thing. Well, getting out of jail, not going in. Yeah, good, yeah, yeah, exactly. Going in is easy. Yeah, good. Bad news is quick, and good news is slow. So anything good happens real slow. Anything bad could happen. Like, oh, you're going to jail for life now. No, but don't murder your wife and a waiter. Anyway, so, <laughs> Some food for thought. No, so uh, here's the thing. Uh, but when he gets out, it's gonna be it's gonna be bigger than the eclipse. You know what I mean? He's gonna eclipse the eclipse because yeah. it's gonna be so fucking cool. Like I'm gonna I wanna I wanna see everything about it. So if he's gonna get a show, probably yeah, it's gotta I be mean, a reality show coming. I mean, it's like all these comedy managers out there and right? Yeah, definitely. There's someone's just Headlining. gonna grab him and and yeah, he'll be I don't know if he'd do stand up, but he you know he'll probably he's gonna do a tour. Out. He'll do he'll small theaters. The feature, yeah. One theaters. man show. Yeah. Up, yeah, him and Mike. Let's not forget he show. was in the naked gun. He was funny in the naked gun. Yeah, he's a he's got chops. He is a comedic yeah, actor. He's he got was chops. Funny. Yeah. It's not like he wasn't not funny. Yeah, Frank. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> yeah, so Frank he's already it. he's already and plus he's just a fucking spectacle. Like you can't like almost now you can't even be mad at the guy. Yeah. And then we were saying on the earlier I mean, you show, could be. <laughs> we were saying on the earlier show, there's there is a possibility that he murdered his wife because because uh, he had CTE. You know what I mean? He took a lot of hits. 
He he made a lot. I mean, but he didn't run. He didn't. He took the hits. He didn't. He didn't do a Franco Harris where he ran out of bounds. I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember all this, but Franco Harris used to run out of bounds. You know, it's because he didn't want to take the extra hits. Like when you could look at an eclipse through a toilet paper roll yeah. <laughs> back in the old days. That's your dad. Anyway, uh, so OJ OJ would he would play in Buffalo. It was cold, nasty weather, and he would fucking take the hit. He didn't. He didn't run out of bounds. So so maybe he does. I mean, I'm sure. When he dies and they study his brain, there's going to be a lot of crazy shit in there. You know? Yeah, it's going to be pretty dark. There's going to yeah. be a knife hidden. Huh? There's going to be a knife hidden. There's going to be a knife hidden in his brain. <laughs> no, but then he, and then, and then, you know, that was actually, that was he's actually. a very complicated dude. Like, he, he <laughs> loved, he loved being around white people. Sure. There's nothing wrong with that, because, you know, oh. whatever. We keep a nice house. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> too. He loved being around white people. Like, even, even the documentaries, they show, like, he was all, you know, business. He was always concerned about, like, you know, being with the country club and, the, the corporate people and and then you know he marries he date white women and and then he fucking and he then he then the black side come out he fucking started murdering people <laughs> it's so fucked up Derek's here <laughs> hey, Derek listen no Derek's a very funny guy He's, oh man Derek say give me some of your credits because they know comedy Tom oh hey uh, uh uh hey Derek Gaines here uh MTV broke ass game they show have you, they have your Twitter yeah Twitter is Derek One Gaines at Derek One Gaines <laughs> on Instagram the Great Boy that's the one I go by. The most I put all my schedules up. But um, a few shows, MTV, here and there. I'm, I'm shooting a show now uh, with Tracy Morgan. Comes out in uh, October called The Last OG. That's going to be funny. Is he, what's was that in like a sitcom? Yeah, yeah, whatever, TBS sitcom type show. Oh, good. Uh, um, they got to make like 100 in two weeks? <laughs> they have like a hyped up schedule? So well, we go right to syndication? We got 10 episodes and it seems good right now. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Oh, that's I'm good. in eight of them, and it's gonna be fly. That's good. It's, uh, Tracy's back. It's his first show back yeah, after that'll the get accident. a lot of hype. Not OJ hype, but that'll get some hype. Yeah, they get some hype because there's, good, there's good people on it. Yeah, spectrum. There's a bunch good of comics work, on it. Good so work. It's be good. Sure. They're both gonna be on Black Twitter. Yeah, if I can get on Black Twitter, I'm, I'm I halfway made it. What is Black Twitter? Black Twitter is <laughs> when black is, people use Twitter. <laughs> when black people use Twitter, but they have incredible hashtags and and beautiful inside jokes, and we all kind of just shit on white people the whole time. But it's the way it goes is just amazing. It's like a, a code that, amongst blacks. Plus, if you're on Black Twitter, you get like so many followers, right? Because like that guy, what's that guy's name? Wizzy Khalifa. <laughs> I see, I see the name, but I don't know how Wizzy. to say it. Khali Wiz Khalifa, yeah. Oh, I was pretty close. I no, you Wizzy? <laughs> Wizzy? <laughs> I, I got him mixed up with Wheezy from the from the Jeffersons. Oh, got gotcha. to so, But uh, Wheezy, Wizzy Khalifa. No, so I, I don't even know him, but he tweeted something yesterday, and it came up on my Twitter. And I'm like, so... Wait, I, your own black Twitter, and you didn't even know it? It came up, and it was like, he had like, a, you know, 170,000 fucking retweets, and that gets my attention. You know, people can say whatever they want about Trump, but he gets a lot of retweets. So so if anybody gets, and it, and it was it was like a joke about smoke, cigarette smoking. So I look him up, he's got 32 million Twitter followers. 32 million, I'm like, he's not even big. I mean, my mom don't know about him. You, you know, know what I mean? Do you mind? That, he's, not, uh, he's not crossover, though. Yeah, he, he is. is. That young song that is. he's sponsored by a pod company. He's he wrote a gospel song day. for Paul Walker. He did? Yeah, that that was that I that Fast that. and Furious <laughs> that, yeah. but, but that when the, when he died. Yeah. It's been a long day or whatever the fuck it is. He did. He wrote a beautiful. He wrote song a song for him. For him. He rapped on it. <laughs> <laughs> A beautiful tribute to it Paul Walker. Because you know Walker. Walker. crossover, baby. It, was, no, it got that the most streams what is. in history. It really? got the most streams in wow. history. He's very he popular. It. Huh? He wrote it? Well, he was rapping on it. So, no, and then that's what they know him for. Yeah, yeah, that song. Yes. I, I thought he was doing no. late spots at, at the stand. I didn't I know, know he was I like am. a real dude. That's so me. Yeah. I do late night he's, he's doing thirty two million on fucking Twitter. I'm like, holy shit. Thirty that's a lot. Thirty two million. Yeah. So that's Black Twitter. That's like the that's like the epicenter of Black Twitter, right? Beautiful. I love Black Twitter. I mean, I, white people don't know him, but they they might know him a little bit. Yeah, white people know. Know. He's a bar mitzvah. He's a bar mitzvah rapper. They play him at the bar mitzvah. They do. Anyway, so uh, I mean, the younger kids know him, but anybody anybody white over forty don't know him. Oh no, 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 y'all. Oh, that's what I'm saying. He's not like he's not like Bill Cosby or OJ or fucking Kevin Hart or yeah. even Tracy Morgan. No, oh, yeah. he got hit by a truck. <laughs> More people would know about him. Yeah, definitely. Quizzy Quaquifa. <laughs> Quizzy Quaquifa? Yeah, if I truck, he wouldn't be able to say his own name. They'd be like, what's your name? Like, Quizzy Quaquifa. <laughs> that's not even his real name. That's a total fake name. <laughs> I looked it that's up. Really good. Yeah. They all have fake names. What's your real name, Derek? Derek. 
Okay, well, good luck making it. <laughs> like, you gotta have a fake name. What the fuck is uh, a rapper? John Legend. He's that's a fake name. Can you imagine John Legend's not his real name? And yeah, people still act like it is. Uh, what's his What's his daughter's name? Like uh, Angie Legend. You're like it's just dumb. <laughs> but nobody. But well, most people they have a fucking fake name. Back in the day, everybody it, when when rap was really taken off in the early nineties, almost every comic had a fake name too. They would just come in with a fake name. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Talent was the best. Talent, you know, you got what? talent. Yeah, he's funny as shit. I know he is, but he just—he's like, my name's Talent. I'm like, it ain't. We had, he uh, was, but you got, and plus you got to be good if your name's Talent. Oh yeah. And he was good. He, and he used to partner with uh, Will Sylvans. But everyone should be called Talent. Hanging out with Will Sylvans. <laughs> even fucking talk. Anyway, <laughs> when we slam him because he gets used to be called Haitian Will. That was his. That was yeah. The but first. Will gives me really terrible introductions, so I always fucking slam him every chance. Oh, okay. Get. Probably that's why. Well, I told. I I said on my other podcast, I, I'm afraid to shake his hand because I might get fucking Haitian AIDS from him. You know. Mm-hmm. He's he's a anyway. I was joking, <laughs> but I I don't believe in Haitian AIDS anymore. Like I did for a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, going back to the black names, uh, when, when me and Derek started the last you house, be a fucking, you should be a black guy lawyer. You should be an entertainment lawyer for a black dude. Hip hop psychiatrist. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hip hop psychiatrist. That's the next sketch before comedy club. Um, comedy club. <laughs> Hip hop psychiatrist is first. But uh, no, when we guess. started at the laugh house in Philly, the names there were. Oh fucking, man, there was Home Alone. Jay Swigger. Top Flight. Home Alone was a name? Home, Home Alone. Alone. Jay Swigger. Top, Top Flight. flight. Uh, Home Alone. That's like the fucking best uh, name I've ever heard. No, no, no. Uh, um, it was uh, Nate the Landlord. <laughs> Another the landlord. Great name. And I would mix him up with uh, Keith from Up the Block. Keith from Up the Block. And These are all good and comics. Any of them, yeah, yeah. Any of them they make crazy it? Names. Even make it out of Philly? Um, no, but no, they're doing nice. their thing in Philly. Oh, so they're Philly legends? Philly legends. <laughs> oh, you guys all know Home Alone. Because they do. Because they know the movie. Yeah. Oh, they, it's just a familiar fucking. There was somebody who had a name. Smooth, but it was a lot of decent. There was someone moves. who had a name I made fun of. Breakout was, was another. Like just, Breakout, that's a good name. Yeah. Was there a name like Just Okay or something like that? Or no, like, I don't know about I, that. Don't play in the black community. It was something like that though. You like, gotta. You get. It's called. It's called the uh, sell the sizzle. Or, don't they call it that, Steve? Sell the sizzle or. No, like you don't sell the steak, you sell. Jay Cat Credo was one. Jay Cat Credo, that was one. There was a lot of really crazy. Yeah, that was a lot of weird comedy names. And yeah, that's good stuff. Sun Seven Five Two. How could I fucking forget that one? That's a good one. Another good one. The kid changed his name. Number, Sun oh, that was his actual name. When I first started, I rolled with a dude named Sun Seven Five Two. The sun. <laughs> that's how I used to end the show. Uh, sun Seven Five Two. Like the coordinates two. of an eclipse. <laughs> sun always shines. My shit ain't corny. I holler at y'all. That's what he used to say. <laughs> that's great. Wow. Another one that's really good. He none changed. None of them left. The, all the guys who have nicknames, did none of them left? I think they all still in Philly. Yeah. Wow. yeah no. Uh, another great one. He changed his name though, but originally it was uh, Ken BDC. Ken BDC. And BDC standard for beat, beat the, the cheeks. cheeks. <laughs> Ken beat the cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> he had all these lot. shitty sex jokes, but he changed. I've seen Ken uh, the women lately. Like the women like now. these guys with the with the funny nicknames. I mean, I mean they had a lot of baby moms. So they, I guess they like some, you know. They had a lot of children. A lot of children. So these dudes were spreading around. So it's good. And that's why they don't leave too, part, partly, right? Yeah, I can't. Not, I don't know. I can't. I can't. I don't know these guys struggle. I can't Steve, also not no, mention no one more name. In Philly, working locally in Philly, is there? There's local money. Uh, one, one more. One more. Or you travel. What do you mean local money? It's different kind of money. Yeah, your landlord looks at it different. This is local money. It's short like, money. When I was working in Philly, all the money was in the beef and beers and, and going on the road down to Virginia and the ski trips. So it's yeah, not beef, really that much. Yeah. Beef, beers, and ski trips. The last name I have to mention is uh, Pretty Smiles. <clears throat> Love and Pretty he Smiles. Has a fuck, he had fucked up teeth, and he'd be like, you want to know why they call me Pretty Smiles? <laughs> and he'd smile. He'd smile, and then he'd really? do jokes about yeah. his teeth. And they were uh, good jokes. Yeah, he's funny. But his, yeah, the names and are he, great. And then he can't even get his teeth fixed, because then he loses his act. He might have got his teeth His Yeah, he wouldn't. There was a dentist named Paul Goodman, who was also a comedian, and he was going to pay for Pretty Smiles' teeth, all of them, and he refused. Yeah, he can't. Yeah, that's because he, he that act. was that was that was pretty whole thing. <laughs> it was his whole but like he had a joke. He was like, I bit into an apple. I looked at it and it looked like the Mona Lisa after I was done. Like that shit made me giggle. I was yeah. like, that's kind of funny because mm-hmm. yeah. he had a, he had jacked up mouth. His teeth was all over the place. Mm-hmm. Why the ones that were there a tour with them. <laughs> Go like a Pennsylvania tour. Take it take it a little bit. East, a lot of maybe comedians. To, maybe to Reading. Get them all in a van. <laughs> and then what? And, and let the cameras go and turn the cameras on, see what happens. Would be a good Pretty show. Pretty smiles and uh, Home Alone. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, all funny guys too. Yeah, I'm everybody's funny. Everybody's now, just funny, funny names. But I always, I always ask people when I go, "Oh, that guy's really funny." I go, "Well, name somebody who's not funny." I'm not asking you. No, black people are generally funny though. Just black yeah, people black are funny. And gay people are funny, so yeah. black gay people is probably the best bet. And uh, sometimes trannies, and you, know, you can't go wrong with a big black tranny. Who's gay? Who's gay? <laughs> wow. mm -hmm. No, but uh, no, but a lot of times people, you know, because no one, no one says someone's not funny. So, so people go, oh, "That guy's funny," but I'm like, "Well, everyone's funny then, right? Who's not funny?" Like I always say, Lenny's not funny, but people go, "Like, well, no, Lenny's really funny." I go, All right, well. everyone always says Lenny's very funny." Anytime you say that, and no, so they're funny. gonna counter it with, "Like, no, he's really funny." It's like, well, you can you can prove that he's funny because he does stand up and he gets he gets laughs. But it's like, so I reach a point. I'm like, "All right, you win." Such Everybody, a spade, everybody's funny. It's such a spade neutered version of MLC, and now it's called Burning Bridges, and it's like, yeah, everybody's funny. You've just no, given I'm just, up. I'm just, I'm just saying, I can't <laughs> fight with you guys because everybody's funny. Like, everybody's funny. I think everybody has a not lane. Everybody's funny. Huh? People have lanes, yeah, and people then have some lanes. people gravitate like, like, to that lane, but not everybody's funny. Okay, well, who's not funny? Like, I'm not going to... Am I at liberty to say who I don't think is funny and who has a following that do? So, nah. So oh, yeah, that's exactly what we want. We <laughs> want some burning bridges. We want some name dropping. <laughs> Dave's got suck. an actual career. He doesn't... Well, I'll try. I'll name I, I, I don't know. Everybody Ricky. hustles. I'll name Ricky, uh, Ricky Henderson. No, I'm just <laughs> What's that guy's name? Who has, like, who has like eight kids? Oh, we're going to the, oh, it's more Eclipse and more now more than wow, ever. Wow, look at Oh, my that. God, do you have an ad? Look like the ring. No, it's an Eclipse. Oh, it's God. Eclipse should have known. That so we don't have, have a better chance of an, a solar Eclipse than you getting Hops one advertisement. Oh, I got Hopkinsville, <laughs> Kentucky. Hops, Hopkinsville. I can't. There's a, there's a better chance of a solar Eclipse than me getting an ad. I got one ad here, and I botched the read. <laughs> He sent it to me on a Wednesday for the following Monday, and I'm like, yeah, I got five. It's like when you get a term paper, they give you two months, yeah. and you just forget about it. So mm -hmm. then they, we came in that day, and they go, oh, you, got, you ready for your read? I go, no. So then I, 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 I just fucked up the end. I haven't seen another fucking ad since. <laughs> so it is a little frustrating because it's like the first time you fuck a girl, you'd be like, no, I can do better. Sure. I can do better. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. always better on the second time around. You yeah, because you, you a little, you're a little nervous, and then you got to learn what the fuck she, she likes. You yeah. Know? You're like, I can do better than that, you know? Yeah. The first time I fucked my wife, you know, I was drunk, and my dick was barely working, you know? And then uh, then, then the next day we went out, and uh, I... That's I, what you said at the wedding? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then I stayed sober, you know? And um, yeah. I stayed sober, and she she was drinking, you know, because that's how I like them. Yeah, and, uh, sure. She was drinking, so then we we had sex, and then her friend called her. And she goes, "Yeah, he, he stayed sober just so he could fuck me right," you know. And, <laughs> and I guess the that's first nice. time we had sex, she faked an orgasm. And I think I just, as a joke, I said, "Were you faking?" She goes, "How'd you know?" I go, "I, I didn't know. I just, <laughs> I just said it as like a joke, you know." Yeah. But then it's afterwards, like the, end of the Godfather. Yeah, whatever that means. Anyway, <laughs> so then <laughs> he says to Carlo. Don't make a fool of me when he set up his sonny. Whatever, continue. Anyway, so then, but she was all proud of me that I didn't, that I, that I, uh, that I fucked her right the second time. But I'm like, I can't, you know what I mean? As a comic, you don't want to keep bombing. You know what I mean? Can't. Especially when you know how to learn from the bombs. You got to learn from the bombs. Especially when you know how to fix the problem. So mm -hmm. I'm like, I'll yeah. stay sober. I'll fuck her right. Then I'll own her. And then for life, you know? Uh, a lot of comics, a lot Beautiful of black man. comics say you fuck a woman right and then you own her for life, yeah. right? Isn't that a fucking... Yeah, like something along them lines. Yeah. I think I, I Sounds think, like something Home Alone would say. I was going to say, like, Home Alone, I think he has, has, a, has a fucking T-shirt. She'll always anyway. think of you if you do it always right. think of you. Anyway. She'll always, like, consider you. You call her in the middle of the night, you want to hang out. She'll probably oh, yeah, cause she'll you made her, you. Yeah, because you, yeah, you made her feel something. Special. Yeah, you gave her a memorable moment. Memorable moment. Yeah. An orgasm um, is memorable. Tom, are you mad? Derek, you got a lot of, uh, you don't have a study, right? I don't have a steady. Because no. I can see that by the way you walk down the street, you don't have a steady. A steady? What are you fucking in the 1950s? I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what, I don't know what they. I don't know what they call it. I don't know, I don't know what they call it. I don't know what they call it. I mean, like it, Marty it, McFly's father. Yeah, the the terms change in the in the urban community often, so I don't know what they call it. I don't. It changed what, a bunch since. I don't know steady. what Wizzy Khalifa's calling a nah, fucking steady now. A, a uh, squeeze or a main a main John a main chick. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. A main Joan. I'm talking. <laughs> Main John? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I have a main. No, I have a major. No, because I mean he's he's working. He's he's black. You don't. It's like, looking fella. Uh, no, don't don't. Yeah, he's tall. I don't know what that I'm means, sure but he's probably yeah. got a humongous cock. I doing mean, okay. I, 
I know Artie's got a huge dick, Artie Fuqua. Whenever I say Artie, people think Artie Lang, but I always think Artie Fuqua. <laughs> yeah. I always do, all, every time. Because I met my wife through Artie, so it, Artie's like part of the family, even though I don't talk to him. Did that ever cross he, your mind? He's bringing me up on stage. Because Ar Artie's, like, a lot of women like Artie. Do you she never that? fucked Artie. Would she tell you, though? Yeah, she, cause her friend was fucking Artie. She okay, really there you go. Right. She brought, she brought my, her friend, I mean, her friend brought... Uh, um, my wife to this thing because Artie bring, would bring women to the show when he'd MC and he'd just ignore them. Yeah, mm -hmm. see when he MC at the at the, old, at the original clean comedy up, cellar because the, the show was the show was three hours long. So he would invite a girl there and she would sit there at the bar by herself because Artie was like running around. Even when he even when someone's on stage, he's not sitting there. He's out front. Fucking. You still know that woman, women, huh? You still know that woman? Uh, my wife. My wife does. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm wondering. What's her name again? Lydia. Okay, <laughs> it's a funny name, Lydia. She's, she's not. She's not white, so it's not funny at all. She's like Hispanic or something. Everyone's Makes Hispanic. I just assume everyone's Hispanic. Okay. Like, no, not now. Like in New York, I assume. Everyone, like I would assume if I saw you in the train, I assume you're Hispanic. Okay. I think you'd be more Dominican. Some kind of Dominican. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But okay. they're 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 Hispanic, Dominicans. Yeah. Tomato Puerto Rican. Hey, you don't act like you know, dude. Who said I knew Fucking anything? Clubhouse lawyer. <laughs> You look so lawyerly today with next to your client, Derek Haynes. <laughs> you do have a part Just, vi to just visually. MJ. You look especially like sweaty today and especially you like. Don't look sweaty at all. I don't yeah, know. It's a new birthday, Shadow's birthday, so you know. Uh, today's your birthday? I already told you that it, before. Oh my God. <laughs> you have the memory of a fucking, I don't know what. I'm the worst. Yeah, it's possible I'm the worst fucking pod ass, pod ass, podcast host of all time. Like, I don't listen to other people. I don't even. You don't at so all. Sad. Don't. Like, There's no listening. I don't listen to people and I don't I've, react to them. Uh, like, people get. I noticed that day. about older comedians like your age. There's no real listening. It's just. What are you talking about? Most comics my age listen a lot because they don't have. They, that's all they have left is their listening skills. Mm -hmm. Who? Because yeah. Tell don't listen. Tell has got mental problems. No. It's very ADD. Yeah. What are you talking about that? Name all names. Of, all of them. Name. All of them. All are you of friends them. with uh, Greer Barnes? I am. Um, I have a good Pauly Shore well, story. Uncle G. We call him Uncle Greer. And my friend told call me. Him what? Uncle Greer? Uncle Greer. All the, all, <laughs> all the That's a good name. I never heard that. Uncle Greer? <laughs> uncle Greer. Uh, he does look like an uncle, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. So my friend opened up for Pauly Shore um, recently. Where? And, Philly? Uh, yeah. Let's not get into too specific because I don't want to throw him under the bus. But this made me laugh really hard. So, Is it a good story? Because I don't want to feel a lot of pressure to it's laugh. It's not going to be a long story. It'll be quick. I, it's funny to me. So if you don't oh, find it funny, like, that'll be entertaining enough because you're says. such a miserable it's cunt. Funny to me. No, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I like a good story. A good Pauly Shore story. <laughs> <laughs> so my friend's opening for him, right? Where? And uh, In Philly, man. Let's keep it at that. Right. Why does it fucking matter? Punchline. It doesn't matter where he opens. I'm at the punchline. They're not going to book him a helium. Yeah, so punchline. Go ahead. That's wrong, actually. You're incorrect. Okay. Um, <laughs> helium outside? Just to get it out. I can't see Paulie going downstairs doing helium. I'm not going to say where it's at, God damn it. And it doesn't matter where it's at. So um, Paulie won't let him in the green room at all. <laughs> the whole weekend? The whole weekend. He's not right. allowed in the green right. room. <laughs> <laughs> so who's Paulie in there with by himself? I guess. Or his fucking entourage. Right. I don't know. The who. I can't wait to be big and just treat middles like shit. <laughs> so funny. Get me a soda. Then at the end of the show, this is the funniest part. You can treat middles like shit and they, they'll keep coming back for more. Oh, no. They need work. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah, Go ahead, yes. middle. <laughs> yeah, middling. Middler. <laughs> Ugh. It's um, just a terrible name. And then at the end of the show, he makes him sell his merch for him. Oh, <laughs> so no. he's not. I How almost. Can you, him. you can't make someone sell your merch. Well, I guess he strongly suggested it. But at the end, right? <laughs> part of selling the merch, right? Uh, Polly comes back out and he's like, "All right, everybody, give it up for the weasel." <laughs> and Polly dances around on stage while the dude does like this pitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope he doesn't get mad hey, that I told wait, the story. The feature, but the feature, oh, sure is a piece of shit. Feature did. He was opening. He was hosting. I think. <laughs> oh, so he, at the, after he brings, he he. Comes so he's not allowed in the green room at all, and he has to sell merch for this fucking oh, jerk and off. When, and when then Paulie's when Paulie, done? when Paulie's done, he comes up and he's like, "Give it up for the weasel!" <laughs> and does like a Paulie thing. Laugh. And Paulie does like a Paulie dance, a weasel dance. Oh man! want to be in show, but Paulie sure stinks. For that. that guy, that guy would oh, take the gig every week. He would take the gig every week. I don't know. I think that was. We take it every week for the stage time and for the to be around the weasel uh, and okay. to get money. Comics need money. That's why people own comedy clubs. Why do you think? Why do you think they never fucking give up the job? 
or are they people who book a comedy? They never give it up. Boy. No, because they everyone needs them. They love that. Pa they love that position of people needing them. Like yeah. every week, there's going to be no matter what shit club you have, there's going to be a bunch of people me needing. And Derek you. will be at uh, the Stress Factory. Stress Factory this Where's Thursday. Seven three two five four five. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the number. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. I think that's really the number. Yeah, uh, Thursday we're doing a one night, so uh, it's going to be fun. Working in that plug, baby. You got I'm it, you featuring. Know? I'm headlining. It should be fun. You're gonna have to sell his merch. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny does help you sell his merch. Though. Great Vinny boy. probably won't be there, but uh, he does help. If he if he if he MCs, he does help you sell the merch. Usually he does MC. He's yeah, a for fucking a long liar. Time. That guy's a liar. He just lies right to his teeth. He goes, "This guy's the." When he gives you an intro, he gives you like an incredible intro. Yeah. He never says that anything close to that to your face. You know. Uh -huh. well, but when he's when he's pushes your merch he pushes it really hard he's got the great t-shirt he's got a great cd did you like kevin's show his cd's even better you know what i mean or his dvd whatever the fuck you, whatever people sell him now i just any brand he's necessary i just sell t-shirts what's so what's the thing you guys trying to raise money you as a benefit no, we're just trying to. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beef and beer. It's a little. No, it's just it's Thursday night. Something, something. A little something. Good, good back to the fans. That's back to the fans. Yeah, exactly. Trying to pack the place out. Comedy club. Go ahead. What? Comedy club. Tom, if you don't go with comedy club, then you're I'm making club. that sketch. I'm making making not as a sketch, as a name. My the, your next comic is named Comedy Club. I have, <laughs> I have this the sketch of me being comedy. Nobody club. gives a fuck about your sketch. What is your name? People care about my sketch. All, you're such a like no disrespect, but you're a gigantic I, <laughs> stiff. Okay. So as a gigantic it's, white stiff, you have to pretend like you're not. You have to pretend like you're you're like you have to you have to like the joke is that you're not a stiff. That the joke is that you're cool. You have nicknames for yourself. Have a couple. Have a couple of nicknames. I'm gonna swallow my. So cough you want drops. me to have fucking sunglasses on while I cough with my cough drops? Yeah, fucking... boy. <laughs> No, you yeah, gotta, you gotta, Tom, Tom you gotta is, jazz it up. Tom has more swag than you think. He comes, he comes to me to all the rap concerts. He talks to black women. He know he doesn't know how to dance good, but he dances with black women still. Yeah. Like we go to Grits and Biscuits saying, every year. But I'm saying, if you're doing all that, take it all away and have a fucking nickname. Wale have concert. Have a comedy nickname. Yeah, it's Cat it, Daddy. Right. It's all about uh, Cat Daddy, baby. I well, got I, nicknames. I just don't share them with you because you won't this, get them. You'll just oh, say them this, wrong, like oh, look, Liz Khalifa. Comedy, comedy, oh, come. Can we get my arms through. And yo, do me a favor. I need. Can we get a little more holes? <laughs> and let's take this and we'll put it in. And then if I can get it in, your ears are massive, Tom. God, you really look. You like got Walter Matthau ears, dude. That, that's crazy. Big ears. Twenty like Canadian, maybe, um, huh? No, but I'm seriously. You should. You just have a nickname because it, you can't just pretend like I'm just gonna be a white guy and hope for the best. You just got it. You gotta fucking jazz it up. You got It's all about branding yourself. Why do you think Comedy I'm wearing Club the glasses? I say that should be the name of your album, Comedy Club. But anyway, Comedy, Comedy Club. Club. Maybe that'll be the second one. Or NPR. Keep it going for NPR, everybody. NPR it's time. Terrible. No, it's funny because you're making fun of yourself. He's got a lot of nicknames. You can have a bunch of nicknames. I mean, I can give you one of mine. Yeah, but not as a stage name. I don't want one of your nicknames. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, give him one of us. <laughs> see, see what he does with it. I gave you one. You didn't do Which... shit with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good stuff. Anyway, we might go short today, too, so God bless America. Sure, we can maybe. Because they got to do the big announcement, so should I don't want to be. Should we these... take turns uh, going to look at the eclipse? No, it's God. actually right now, 244, because I had to tell my mother-in-law. I'm going to button up all the way. No, I had to tell my mother-in-law that uh, I, I'm like, I, I, because my wife is working and I'm working. I'm doing two shows today. So my mother-in-law had to watch the kids. And then I, and then my wife's my wife texted or, or I, anyway, my, my daughter's like, mom said we shouldn't go outside between one and four. Because I'm like, oh, my God, I got to worry about the fucking eclipse. So I looked it up. They said the the the, the story I read, it was like 145 to, to four o'clock. But the, the darkest is going to be. Uh, two forty-four. No, no disrespect, Derek. The darkest time is gonna be. No, I'm like my dad. I, if a black guy's here, I have to make black jokes. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dad couldn't help it. We were all like, "Dad, stop!" But he's like, he couldn't help it. Anyway, but that, <laughs> that was like forty years ago. And as as an, as a as a as a as props to him. Anyway, um, why were you why were you signaling uh, the crowd for? Because you want to do comedy. Well, she was Tom? saying something with a shirt. What is it? Why do you want me to put this on? Oh yeah, comedy Tom. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's that's comedy what. Uh, comedy club. 
Hey, did that's you, what, uh, speaking of your parents, Amber. did you see your mom when she saw Neil at, uh... No, I didn't. She Did she call you? No, I knew she was here. I already told that story on MLC the other day. It was a big fucking, it was a big piece of, sh it was a big, uh, whatever, story. Oh, so we, we got to tune into that to hear that. No, the point is, my mom is a star fucker. My mom's a my mom's a chronic star fucker. So she has children in show business. That makes sense. No, even before that, even she just like it's it's just a weird That's situation. She took a picture with Chappelle. That's so funny. She took a she took a picture with Chappelle, and uh, it's on Instagram or it was on somebody. Somebody sent it to me. My mom looked good though. For her age, she looks good. Yeah, she did look good. <laughs> oh shit! This is it. There you go. Hey everybody! <laughs> Tommy hey, Club. what's your name? What's your Tommy social security Club. number? <laughs> <laughs> hey. so this is your idea. <laughs> yeah, basically. This is basically your idea. This is basically my idea. <laughs> are you gonna are you gonna have this on the street? Yeah, I'm just gonna walk around and tell jokes. People are gonna people are gonna throw <laughs> shit at your face. So you can't even defend yourself. Oh, I mean, so you're gonna, with me. someone, you're gonna have someone tape it. I got people who know what they're doing actually shooting it. <laughs> but then what are you gonna do? You're gonna sell it to Comedy Central? Maybe. You fuck. <laughs> Why not? There's worse fucking ideas in the world. You young That's white great. guys with your dumb ideas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that> stinks. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> Comedy Tom. This is the best. Oh, it's dumb. Comedy Club. Mm -hmm. Other <laughs> people on the show or just you? Uh, if we want, you could stand in front of me and bump me. <laughs> I got you have like an opening. Like you gonna have an opening? You gonna have a microphone? Or you're just gonna stand there? I'm just gonna shoot it all day and just do a bunch of different. You know. Can't wait. Where are you gonna ideas. shoot it? All over the city. I thought about going to the line at the cellar when people are waiting in line at the cellar. Oh my god! What a spectacle. jokes to people on the line. That would be great, right? You can come. How many? I might do a roast battle. How many <laughs> where jokes? Stands next to me. How many can jokes I do you have? Him? Huh? How many ah! jokes? What? How many jokes do you have that will work outside? I don't know. I'm gonna. I gotta. You know, work that out. I think they gotta be like set up in punchlines. You know. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, yeah, if yeah. it's if it's like one liners, you're probably gonna have to need one liners for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, I don't uh, one liners. For that. Because they 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 won't sit around like for a regular comedy club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comedy club setup. He might you know? though. No, they might not. <laughs> Who knows? We'll I see. Mean, you're competing against girls that were painted, uh, fl painted flags yeah, on their tits. I don't think I'm doing this in Times Square. That's Where are you gonna do it? Maybe maybe Logan maybe Square. Maybe. Where the fuck are you gonna maybe take like it? Like the Village and stuff, or maybe like Brooklyn and like other places. I don't you're know. Gonna get on the train and go to Brooklyn in your in your Tommy Tom outfit. Maybe. Tommy Tom. Maybe Tommy I'll Tommy tell Club. jokes on the train. Oh yeah. It was Everywhere. So I don't know why people don't. Everywhere tell I go them. is a comedy club. Uh, there's a guy. Oh, matter where I'm at, yeah, it's a comedy right. club. Yeah. It's a comedy club. Remember Rick Aviles? No. And a, a Charlie Barnett. You remember those guys? Rick Aviles, Charlie, Charlie Barnett. Barnett. Yeah, I know Charlie Barnett. They're both dead. Anyway, they're both dead. Charlie Barnett was, uh, was supposed to go to SNL, but he couldn't read or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I hate when that happens. Yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> he used to be yeah, in a park a job with SNL, huh? He was in a park telling jokes. He got a uh, he got a Def Jam spot, but he maybe. was it was he was dirty. Yeah. Really, but he would kill. He would kill. teach a little black yeah, they would, they comedy would... club how to read. We'll get a little black kid in this outfit. Can we use your oh, son? We a little black kid. Yeah, what, are you, what the fuck are you talking about? That guy couldn't read and he was black. Oh. Oh, okay, friend. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like how the lawyer says anything, the least bit racist. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck was that? No, but these guys used to work at Washington. Why's it got to be a black comedy club, though? <laughs> no, they got to work I'm at. The white one. They got to work. They, they worked at Washington Square Park. and they But they would kill. And they, they would kill everywhere because they had that outside. They were like outside cats it's all went inside mm -hmm. and they would fucking kill because they killing uh getting laughs in washington square park is much harder than going to a comedy club because you, you don't have no microphone you gotta you gotta keep the crowd so you 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 have shit that just kills ceiling super everybody. high and you and yeah you have a you have a you just develop acoustic a, stink outside. You develop, yeah thanks comedy tom <laughs> <laughs> no, but then um but then you develop a real <laughs> You develop a real charisma. Uh -huh. You do develop outside charisma. It's harder. And they, but uh, Rick Avilles became a movie star. Then he died, which is a bit of a fucking cock block. And then mm -hmm. uh, Charlie Manette died. He he used to do a joke. He goes, "I just took a, uh, just took an AIDS test. I got a 65." <laughs> oh, yeah. Choose to kill. But then he died of AIDS. Is that not ironic? Crazy. So anyway, he was failing in AIDS, and then he died of AIDS. Failing in AIDS. 
Because you got yeah. 65. It means uh, some places 65 a is that's passing. A that's can a, can I use that for comedy club? What yeah. if I just steal that's jokes? No, some places that's failing. Some places that, that, that's a D. Back in South Jersey, that was a D. Yeah, 70 was failing when I was when I was a kid. But 70 was a C. So. I prayed for 70s. Right? Really? It was at the white schools. 70 you know, you was You got all A's, passing. right? Me? No. That's how you got into law school? Right. Uh, yeah. At, um, I feel like they have are your parents. Are your, are your parents think you're a huge disappointment? No, not at all. You graduate Very college? Happy with me. Yeah. Where? Westchester University. Oh, my God. And did you graduate college? Dropped out to be a comic. Uh, where'd you go to college? Uh, University of the Arts. I was a jazz drummer, believe it or not. I believe it. Yeah. In the city? Yeah, South, uh, South Philly. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So you're like, fuck it, I want to play drums? I was a drummer in, in high school, and then I went to college for it. Got like a half scholarship, but I got on stage one time. Even better guys, the Laugh House. You're really That's fucking better, making yeah. this look good. You were drumming. You were in school, <laughs> and you you did stand up. I went and did one open mic and figured it out, and it was, I was like, yeah. I, I, you did stand up? Uh, someone dared you, or you just wanted to try it? I want to try it, so I audited all all the whole my whole me being 18. I just audited. I just checked it out. I didn't go up, and then if, the day after I turned 19, I went up, and I was like, oh, okay, I get it. And then uh, I just Did you have to wait to be nineteen? Did you have to wait to be nineteen? I just waited till I was nineteen. I was just like, all right, I'm I'm gonna stop watching, I'm gonna go do it now. And then I was yeah. the, I was the comedy club that he performed at and I was like, This black kid's <laughs> going places. <laughs> I said, That right. that boy's gonna be somebody. This green shirt don't work outside, you know that, right? Yeah, I know. I have a fucking oh. costume designer, oh. you fuck. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, Tommy. Very testy. Club. Very testy. Roast, Tom. roast battle, Tommy Club. I apologize. Oh. Ellie, why did you look at me with such disgust there? What's wrong? Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm really turned on. It's not disgust. Okay, I apologize. <laughs> hey, hey, have you ever led a comedy club inside of you before? <laughs> Would you like one? Uh, oh, anyway. Eric, how long have you been on stand up? You don't uh, have to answer if you don't. It's 14 want. years. Tom, how about you? Uh, nine. So Derek, uh, Derek, I only saw De Derek once. He was good, but you only get you only get late spots at the cellar. Yeah, that's is, that, what's is that what you request, or that's what? Nah, you it's just what, that's what it gives me. But you're already working, so you don't care, right? I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm just and, and around. did you when you got your MTV things? Did you have an agent that was getting it for you? Or yeah, because I went to Montreal 2013. That's when it all turned over. And so you got an agent and a manager out of that, and then yeah. they put you up for stuff. They start putting me up for and stuff. Then you were hosting a show on MTV. Yeah, and I host a show on MTV. What was that called? It's called the Broke Ass Game Show. And, and that that ran for a little bit. Two seasons, and then it went to like MTV Spain. I like how MTV two seasons is like a long run for them because yeah, it's one season. You know, it's everyone has such short attention span at MTV. Even the even the people that work there are like two years, man. That's fucking amazing. Yeah, it's like the Cosby Show. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get it syndicated. Yeah, hey, so. with that fucking black shirt, it really is amazing. Thank you. What's your, can I ask you a personal question? Please, Kevin. How long have you been with your girlfriend? <laughs> How long have you been with your girlfriend? I'm um, like two years, a little bit she over two years. You, she thinks you're like a, like, when you guys talk dirty, what's she say? <laughs> Are you like an animal in, the, in, the, in bed? Am I? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you, you a good time. <laughs> do you get a little crazy? You, are you, you cut loose a little bit? Like, I'm not saying I do, but I'm saying like, like you know what I mean? Like you're 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 comedy Tom. You're I cut loose. Tom, huh? Cut loose. Of course you cut loose. But I'm saying, I mean he's from MTV. Of course he's gonna cut loose a little bit. But do you cut loose? Or are you pretty much you wear you put the green shirt on? You Hold go on, in that there. comedy club answer. I like to talk to execs. It doesn't even have to be dirty. Just like hey, how are you? <laughs> thanks, thanks for coming. <laughs> Thanks Thank for you for coming. letting me come. Unintended. <laughs> but that's what you say? That's one of your bits, though, right? It's going to be a, a comedy time bit. <laughs> I mean, I, but do you go nuts a little bit? I mean, do you guys get frisky in the sack? I mean, do you ever go away to the Poconos and get like Mount Airy Lodge, get like a what's like mean? a thing with a, a jacuzzi in a room kind of a thing? Oh, no jacuzzis in a room. No. Um, yeah, man, I have sex with my girlfriend. Do you do you call her names and you say like you're a fucking dirty whore and Maybe. everything? <laughs> no, because I just can't not, see not you like saying, really yeah. busting loose. Like like I could see Derek or Steve really busting loose. You, this isn't the first time that you've pictured me having sex before. You do this a lot. No, but white guys having sex is not. It's it's just like white white nerd. Talk dirty. Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. No, I never. No, you know what? If I talk dirty, then my wife talk dirty, and then I come. Like, and my wife even says, like, anything, I, I'll just come. Like, yeah. even if she's like. Still, even after all these years. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I can't. It's embarrassing. Like, I can't do it's nothing about it. It's impressive that you're still a pre-comer like, like that, and you're like, old as shit. I can't. Like, I don't come like I used to. 
You don't? No. How do you come now? Differently? I used to say it was your like ear? A, <laughs> <laughs> it used to be like a toothpaste thing that was like completely filled with toothpaste and you'd smash it. And now I feel like there's just like not as much toothpaste. Oh, and I see. Just like, it's like a less of a... Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so your yeah. dick is not as filled with toothpaste. Do you, yeah. Do you ever say... I feel like there's not enough toothpaste in the tube as much as there used to be. Oh, yeah. yeah and so what do you... Uh, did I have had the shirt on for that? What do you say to your girlfriend when you're going to have sex? Do you want your teeth clean or something like that? You make a lot of toothpaste references? I mean, I you figure it would go that route. I just can't see you getting, like, real fucking, like, you, you, you like this? You, you're going to fucking bend over? Like, like the black guys do. Like, every black guy... First of all, let me ask you why I got you here, Derek. Like, every black guy, when they're when they're Why you got him here? No, while he's here. While he got you here. Okay. While I have you here. Yeah, that's how, like that's how Quizzy you. says it. While I got oh. you here, yo. Okay, go But ahead. every black guy back in the day, when they were simulating sex, they're always doing a doggy style. Like, they're never... It was always, like, the same. So is that just, like, a thing? Or is that just, like, funnier? I think it's funnier. I mean, because we, we flip well, You it. can't simulate, like, like missionary, because that looks like, like you're still... But she was but, out here. How big yeah, is she? But, like, Jesus but Christ. This is, like, you know, like... Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, like, cooler. But I, I thought, like, is that is that, like, preferred? Is it, like, for black women, do they assume you're going to do a doggy style? Yeah, hey, like, black women, like, you know, that's where you get to the G spot the quickest. Is when, is, when they is, put their face down, put their ass up. Yeah. Mm. That's ain't love that. They spread out and they get crazy. It's pretty- I, get your finger out of my yeah. face when you. Yeah, that's the thing. When my wife, my wife wants me to do it, and like I can't fucking like I see her fucking big fucking brown ass and her. Fucking, <laughs> like I can't. She goes do a dog style. I'm like I cannot. Like I definitely need a capable? stunt double. No, I can't even look. I have to look away like a fucking eclipse. Like it's it's fucking ridiculous. Like even the even just it's so fucking. <laughs> it's so fun. It makes me so crazy. Like even now I'm about to come. Just looking at even visualizing it. Wow. Oh, it's too much because my wife has like a big fucking Puerto Rican ass, even though she's Dominican. I mean, even though she's Panamanian and uh, and she's mm. got like a small back. So like when I'm it's like when she does a dog style, like I can't fucking it's artwork. It's artwork. I can't right. do it. I can't do it. Artwork. Like, I come so Ethnic quick. I can't. It's artwork. Yeah, it is. Ethnic it's amazing. How long have you been married to this woman for? Forever. And you can't have sex I can't with her even. From no, I can't. I can't. With doggy style, I can't fucking. I said, I'm like, these black guys, like, I know these, they're fucking these, like, hot black women, and they still don't come quickly. I don't even know how you do it. I guess you just grow up with it. You're used to it. I didn't grow up. I grew up with a lot of fucking flat ass white women out in Philadelphia. Because I know that's your whole family, flat ass white women. Well, I, I grew up in South Jersey. That's a very dirty place. So girls were very, very. South Jersey Michigan. where? South Jersey, Lindenwald. Around, that, around Cherry Hill, Borehaven. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And they're dirty, like they fuck a lot? Yeah, they get, they get down. At- yeah, see, the girls where I lived, they didn't fuck it. They weren't fucking me. But everybody, like in high school, if you were getting laid, everybody knew. Like John Lawler, you guys know John Lawler. Yeah, was getting, I still remember his name because he was getting pussy. He was the, he was on the basketball team. He was like six four, and he was getting laid. Everybody knew it because he was the only one. Maybe went one guy. Maybe one guy. To the huh? same high school, they still had his fucking picture on the wall. Probably before for fucking the most women. Yeah. Yeah. Archbishop <laughs> John Carroll, John Lawler. You went to Carroll. You stupid fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine you went to Carol. I did, you tell you me that? I've told you five times, <laughs> at least. Take another fucking sip of your fucking memory didn't juice. even take any today. <laughs> <laughs> it's my third show of the day. Oh, yeah, First memory show juice. Was... That's kind of funny. But, um... <laughs> No, but, but it's just, that's how it was. And I, I would, I like, if I would have known how to, like... You know what I mean? If I would have known how to work my dick... When I was younger, I would have known how to, right? But, but well, I, I didn't lose eventually. my virginity until I was 20. Huh? I didn't lose my virginity until I was 20. Why? Why? If the girls were dirty, they were just... Well, I didn't, you I didn't, day? you know, my, I was focused. My mom just said, do good in school, I'll get you stuff. And then when girls start coming around, I was nervous at first, because you hear all these shits about, you know, one-minute men coming too quick. Like Kevin. Because you got to understand, South Jersey They're had a BDR. They just talking about me. <laughs> they had a BDR. It was called a bad dick report. That shit run around school fast. <laughs> For real. Yeah, so girls was lawless back in the day. So I was like, nah. You talk a lot of shit, right? Yeah, a lot of this. Is he for Twitter? Could you imagine being in Twitter and like you (laughs) get busted on Twitter by your fucking, you come too quick and she tweets it? Our friend Reggie in high school, his nickname was Regular Dick Reggie. What, because he didn't have a big dick? I guess so. (laughs) Regular regular Dick Reggie. Uh, That was not his stage name. Other back, Chad and fucking uh, Florentine. Anyway. Anyway. So, uh, so you were worried about that, but the girls, but but you heard from your friends that the girls were dirty. That- yeah, and then as I grew up, and then I start, you know, I start, you know, fucking, I start figuring it out for myself. Yeah, 
And I was like, all I right. Didn't, I didn't get no pussy until I started doing stand up. And I, you know, I, I, it was crazy. Like, hey, man, so how old were you? <laughs> oh, no, I lost my virginity when I was like 20, but, uh, but I, I couldn't get steady pussy. And then, and then I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, now looking back, I, I have a lot of regrets because mm -hmm. when you're when you're 20 and everything right. you should be fucking left and right. Plus, plus I wasn't really in college. Like I was like I would go to college and I would drop out of college and because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Then I started doing stand up and then uh, depressing stuff all around. How? Once I started doing stand up, like the the better my act got, then the women were like then they. So started, that's that was the rule. They started turning up. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Funnier you are, the prettier they are. Huh? Funny you get Man, the It was become. amazing how like women were like, no, no, because I I would know some of these women. They're like, no, it wasn't that. It was just like you, you, you know. It was. I'm like, come on, man, you're a whore. You're, you're a good looking guy though. Back huh? in, you were a good. I was guy a good back looking back guy, back. but I wasn't like I'm not good looking like 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 Derek is. Like I love to see Derek naked, but uh, I wasn't. <laughs> I'm looking pretty good. I'm not good like these days. I'm, I'm not good, good looking. Like I'm I'm pale. I'm skinny. Like I'm not I'm not fucking hot. I'm hot like you're hot, Tom, which is not at all. You know what I mean? I'm zero hot. I think we got a little bit of something. In the, in the tank. Yeah, because we're okay. we yeah because we're from March for Joe Carroll and everybody looks like us, so we think <laughs> we think that's normal. You know what I mean? <coughs> you go to places where people are ugly and they they think they're not ugly because everybody's ugly. Am I right, Chad? Yeah. Chad's back. Chad, what'd you have for lunch? We had Oh, so you guys are gonna about head for the toilet soon? Get it? Because uh, they have a little <laughs> diarrhea. They have some. Is that the uh, rumor at Chipotle? No, it's not a rumor. It's they they they're fucking they've gotten busted many times. Oh, their, their oh fucking okay. stock well, prices shit. dry has been cut in half because oh, wow. because their sales went down because it's not some urban legend that Chipotle makes you sick. It's a fact. Okay, cool. And it stopped for the most it's your part. Version of an ad now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it stopped for the most part, but then they had an incident like a month ago or so. It's a mess. It's a mess. But that would yeah, be that would be a good sponsor because I'd really sell them. I'll sell the fuck out of anything for for an ad. It doesn't seem like it. No, I totally would. No, because because uh, at Riotcast where I used to do my show, mm -hmm. I recall they had a a of uh, uh, what's his name Voss and Bonnie. They had an ad and Bonnie fucked it up, and so they told me I go if we, if you give us if we give you an ad, don't fuck it up. I'm like I'll have I will not fuck it up. I'll do the opposite. But so and then they gave me one here and I fucking botched it. Yeah, I know. We just went yeah. over that. Your right. memory is terrible. I'm not. I'm not myself today. <laughs> Oh, wait, I want to get back to your uh, wife's vagina for just a minute. Wow. You have been with the same woman for 10 years. How have you not just been able to practice on ways to not come super quick when you have sex with her from Muscle behind? Muscle contractions, man. Just, you know, do the, do, do. Yeah, like, do the vagina exercise on your little dick. I do it. I squeeze my own dick. Dude, I don't know. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think I got the answer. Here's the thing. It's hard to say. It's hard to simulate a pussy. That's why we're all chasing pussy. Like if we could simulate a pussy properly, we wouldn't be talking to bitches, right? We'd just be fucking that simulated pussy. So you, so you can, you can squeeze your own fucking hand and, and do all and fuck a melon, which I have, and you can. There's all kinds of tricks, but you're still not fucking a woman. A woman going like, ah, oh, yeah, like I yeah, can't. Like it's a, the when, vocals. when it's a woman the vocals. talks to me, like I can't fucking like I used to, I used to, I said on one of my many podcasts like. One girl I started dating her, she was 20, I was 37, and she worked at the comedy cellar. I didn't want no uh, regular dick Kevin going around the comedy cellar. So I, so I wouldn't come quick, I would squeeze my balls. I would come around my with my hand and squeeze my balls, pinch my balls, so I wouldn't come. Because people go like pretend you you know, think about your grandma. I'm like, she would make me come too. Be so I would have to I would literally have to pinch my balls. Quick come Kevin. Quick come uh -huh. Kevin. I now I talk about my act because I because uh, I'm married. Like I I do jokes about I come quick because I if I was single I probably wouldn't because I wouldn't want these waitresses know like oh this guy comes quick. But then again maybe you tell them you come you lower their expectations so low if you say you come quick then when you don't come like super quick they're like oh that wasn't that quick you know. Do but even my wife sometimes she'll be like oh are you serious? I'll be like I am serious. That's ten years yeah. of her just being like are you serious? The other day we had sex. I shouldn't really talk about this but she doesn't have compound media because I don't I, I, she's under allowance and I don't give her nine dollars. <laughs> oh. So, uh, <laughs> You're like one of R. Kelly's girlfriends. So uh, I keep her in the basement unless uh, it's time for dinner, unless I want her to make me dinner. The Brennan Bunker. No, but then she was like, she she goes, I, I like, I was, I think I was doing some nastiness to her, and so my dick wasn't like 
fully aroused. And then when I was about to, when I was about to put it in, it wasn't even, it wasn't even regular size yet. It wasn't full. Like, like you're talking about your toothpaste tube. It wasn't toothpaste tube. It was like, it was like mostly squeezed out. I put it inside. Then it got bigger within like 90 seconds. I came, she goes, how do you do, how does it even do that fast? I go, I don't know, but it, like, it wasn't even hard. And within 90 seconds or two minutes, I already came. And then, and I, I basically, now I tell her, I now I tell her, this is how the Brennans have survived for so many years because back in the day when you had to come quick when there's dinosaurs and, and more dangerous situations, we would come quick and then move on. You know what I mean? Because the guys that take a long time, they were probably killed. Yeah. By, by, by Nazis and trying to make it more modern. You think you've ever, right. <laughs> do you think you've ever satisfied her with your penis? Yes. Okay. No, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I know a you possibility. go down on her and shit. So I you, have to. You, of course you do. You come in two <laughs> no, minutes. No, I have to. Sometimes I'll be fucking her and I'm going to come. And I'll be like, oh, here we go. Back downtown. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I'll do that. I'll do the clown walk like I'm walking down uh-huh. the stairs again. <laughs> Just to bring, bring a little levity to the situation. Yeah, sure. No, that's what I do. Or like now, and lately I've been using my fucking. What have I been doing? I can't even talk now. It's too personal. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, it's now not. It's, it's not personal. good. But I, I sure. you know, I. But you can't simulate. You. It's like you can't simulate uh, a pussy properly. Like so, you can. You then when you get a regular pussy, the only really solution is fuck, and then and then the second time you don't come as quick. It's just that simple. If you fuck a girl, but then again, now I'm not I'm not at the age now where I can fuck somebody and then fuck again in another hour. But back in the day, that's what I would do. I, I would come quick. The girl would be like ah, and then within an hour, I'm an fucking hour. her. I'm fucking her, and then it's and then I don't come as quick because I'm already there. <laughs> it's like it's like Eric's doing- amazed by an hour. How long do you need? I, I need a 10, 15 minute. No, it's like it's Eric like just when, takes a sip of a Gatorade and he's ready to go. <laughs> no, it's like when you do a first when you do a first set. If I do my first set, uh, and then maybe I'm a little something. Then the second set, I'm just like I'm not, I'm just calm because I already did one. I already have one under my belt. You got the wiggles out. Yeah. yeah, I got the wiggles out. That's what I'm gonna call from out. now. I got the wiggles out, honey. Got the wiggles out. Right. So, so it's it's a, it's not a, you know I I I'd love it if I could last forever. But then I, I think if you're married, if you last forever, it'd be like ah, because women complain a guy takes too long. Somewhere in the middle would probably be nice though, right? Okay, is that where you come in, Tom? Yeah, I do. Come over and fuck my wife. Show me <laughs> how you do it. I think any good, any good uh, sex session be, should be an intense 23 minutes. Yeah. 23. Like Jordan. Yeah. It's easy. Just. Sometimes sometimes I'll be like, I'll go down to my wife. I'll be like, that was a long time. And I can see the digital clock. It was like six minutes. I'll be like, wow, that's a long six minutes. <laughs> I love it. Tells a joke about eating chicks out. He treats it like a bank robbery. <laughs> oh, he treats it like... <laughs> No, he doesn't say that. I heard him say that before. What's he say? What's the I mean, joke? Of course, I'm fucking fucking his joke up a little bit, but he, he said say? something about eating chicks out, and he says he gets in and he gets out. Like, it's a bank robbery. No, he the he, the other one is he treats it like he eats, he eats, uh, he eats uh, women's vaginas like, uh, like a guy eating, eating lunch at prison. He goes, uh... <laughs> He goes, he, he goes, he, whatever he, he goes, eyes up or <laughs> no, uh, ear, ears open, eyes up or whatever, because, uh, he goes, he don't want to eat it, but he doesn't want anybody else eating it mm-hmm. either. Anyway, the, the gist is, the gist is, that's the gist of it, right? Yeah. You, you don't want to eat it sometimes, but you don't want somebody else eating it. Sure. I think 23 minutes is too long though. I think like. No, he's, ta- he's talking about from start to end. Start to finish. Yeah, okay. 23 minutes is a good time because then then 16 it, to 17. Oh, no, 23 is good because then if, if you go too long, then then it gets like whatever, and then then you can still watch your show. 23 so. minutes, that's good. And you then last, reset, you last the eat, amount of an again, eclipse. Like, huh? You last the amount of an eclipse over the sun. What a minute! <laughs> Two minutes. I mean, it's terrible. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. Oh, I mean, I could see my wife divorcing me just for that. Alert. That should be a good enough reason to divorce somebody. I think that I think there's like should be legitimate reasons where you like. But ten uh, years, you, she stuck it out for ten years, so she must love you. So it's good. Oh man, everybody loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Who don't love me? No, I don't know. I mean, she always she wants. She's not happy now, but whatever. Probably it's because of the summer. The summer's a fucking bitch when you got kids and shit. You can't relax. Why the murder rate goes up? Everything goes up. So like, you know why the murder rate goes up? Because it's hot. Yeah, and people are outside. Yeah. So if you're not outside, you can't kill nobody. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can kill your wife or whatever, but like, it's like they know, like they know when the weather gets shitty, when it snows out, the the murders drop fucking precipitously. Mm-hmm. It's true. Which is like, you know, I try to do a joke about, it, of course, didn't go very far. No, because most people don't have to deal with murder. Like everybody in New York and Philadelphia, they're like murder, murder, murder. But like, you go to fucking any other city, they're like, well, we don't deal with murders. Do, don't you have any jokes about the mall? I go, no, I have nothing about the mall. Am I right? Back to you, Derek. What's your act about? 
Uh, it's about me being a, a suburban black dude trying to figure out the experience. Well, I've seen your act, but I only saw seven minutes at the cell. I thought it was good, though. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. You got a good, uh, you got a good energy. Tom? Yeah, very funny. Tom, uh, you haven't seen me do stand-up, okay? So Wait, don't ever. Jimmy Martinez told me what it was like. Jimmy liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy Cassidy, funny. He, he, <laughs> Tommy's my opener all over. Like, when he I is? finally get a tour, Tommy's going yeah, on a tour. We don't call it opener, though. We call Jesus. it, uh... We call it, uh, The Merch Remarkable guy? Opposites. Or Derek. That's what we call it. You call it what? We call it the Remarkable Opposite Show. The Remarkable Opposite. Before Derek, you know, we don't Just use words like me, so I don't, future, I don't really right? see so Tommy's you, less... you guys don't go with labels? No. <laughs> <laughs> you piece but of shit. Sometimes I feel like... Here's the thing. Go ahead. So it's just a two-man show? No, we get a host. My, you want to uh, host for us? My boy probably. <laughs> it's between Dave Temple. I got Dave Temple, Me and Hart, Reggie like Conquest. Dave Dave. I like Dave Temple, too. Yeah. Yeah, very funny. Is, and but you're more. You're, I feel like you're talking to me right now, like you're trying to set up a threesome with me and Derek. <laughs> Just your tone has changed. Do we have any wine? Well, I didn't hear anything? that because I, that's not. That I didn't hear it either. I didn't hear that at all. So that's my second yeah, show. Second one. I always like the. It. I always like the guys you bring with you. I like Dave. Oh, I, I like. Yeah. I like okay. Dave too. I like black guys because the black guys have a different take on it. You know, I know your take. Yeah. Pay your pay your dues and pay your taxes. You know what I mean? Like like black white people are like pretty predictable. That's why fucking comedy club audiences hate them. And then uh, we're black right. guys. No, black guys are like, uh, you know, Chad wears his fucking, uh, wears his big hat because he's a surfer, dude, you know? It's an angle. And uh, so, you know what I mean? So white dudes are pretty predictable. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't hang dude. out with black dudes. I followed a white dude on Saturday who sure, looked just cool. like me, and I was just like, ugh, this is terrible. It's a nightmare, right? It's horrible. Where? New York Comedy Club. And did you bomb, or it was just a short set? I did well. And he, he stunk? He was fine. He was good. He had a beard? Yeah, it was like light. But he looked exactly like me. No, it's rough. And it sucks. When I follow a fucking guy who's like a white dude, like a tall white dude, I just go like... Ugh. You're not tall, though. Yeah, I am. I just don't seem tall. <laughs> I've been so, of your general stature been so and beaten, demeanor. beaten down over the years. Yeah. Anyway. So comedy's fun, man, especially when you're black. These days, it's good. They're like, they're ready to hear what you got to say. So it's good. I like it a lot. It's been, going on, it's been going on for fucking 15 years, Derek. Ever since the Def Jam started, ever since the Def Jam started, it's been a fucking like it's been totally uphill. But we had it coming. It was like it was like when Trump beat Hillary because the the Democrats were were so pathetic, you know, and uh, and and you know with all the fucking trannies going to the bathroom, who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? I know. So it was like it was like the same thing with white comedy. You could see white comedy. There was all these shows, all these fucking A and E, you know, comedy on the road, evening at the Improv. It was all white dudes, and they're all doing the same act. They're all the fucking. They're all doing the Jay Leno, uh, Jerry Seinfeld act. Just white, boring fucking dudes. And even I was doing it. And then the and then fucking Def Jam started. And then black guys, black guys could literally go to a college, say whatever they want, rape a couple of white girls, and nothing. No, nothing. No, no, not not penalized at all. Like I, I went to a gig like in Maryland or whatever, and I said. I said uh, I knew I knew, I knew he was there the I knew he was there the week before it was like Tony Woods or whatever and they she gave me all these rules I go you gave these rules to Tony Woods she goes yeah but he's different because we bo we booked him off the Def Jam I'm like it's still the same fucking crowd I can't believe I haven't said the N word yet it's the same fucking crowd it's the same crowd it's the same school like it's a total double standard and it's been that way ever since like with white women in New York they love black dudes they they think you're cool and I don't know if they want to fuck you they may want to fuck you once before they get married. So they they just they 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 have a curiosity about white dudes. I mean about black dudes. They don't. They, they, nobody wants to fuck you, Tom. No disrespect. <laughs> nobody. Even your girlfriend hey. don't want to fuck you. Ev, with no exaggeration. Tell him, Derek. With no exaggeration. I don't know. Before he was uh, in a relationship, Cat Daddy was taking down numbers. We, we would be shocked. He would take home women from the club. Yeah, but yeah, they're taking down Cat numbers because he told me he was a lawyer or something. You could oh, do, them, do, do their taxes. I've seen, I've but seen he didn't Tom fuck work. him. It doesn't fuck him. He didn't fuck him. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. You have, you have video. You have video proof. I remember. I remember when I used yeah, to believe any of that shit. I remember when I used to I'll upload them to you on I your Google to... sunglasses. <laughs> Tom, Tom, you know why that makes me mad that somebody fucked Tom. That makes me mad. Yeah. <laughs> Tom helped me figure out game and how to be more endearing. Yeah, man. That's why I call him my spiritual advisor. That's great, you son of a bitch. Now take those sunglasses off. <laughs> Tom was like the original snowflake. I think that's how we had to figure like out how to, how to original how to, like threatening. Yeah, non-threatening. It's not everybody wants a fucking 12-inch black dick inside of them for fucking 23 minutes. 
Some people want a nice twelve <laughs> minutes of fucking. I heard. I heard some comic the other day. He goes. He goes. He goes. Is everybody getting choked now? Is it, you choke women all the time? Only if by request, and I don't do it hard. If they go choke they, me, I'll be like, and yeah. they, you, you don't sign nothing. You don't have them text you nothing. Like it's cool for you to choke me. So you have some video. His so wife some... chokes him after he comes in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the women fuck you. Your sense of humor. <laughs> Comedy club, baby. Comedy club. Um, oh, but like I, I, I can't imagine someone, you know, you, someone saying, "Tom, could you choke me?" I, I listen. I mean, no, but that's the thing. Like they, they, I don't know. I don't know. What women want. Women never know what they want. You know what I mean? They want this and then they want that. They want a guy who's sensitive, but they want a guy who's gonna fuck him hard too. Like I don't know if they, I don't know if they come in the same package. I don't know, man. I. Uh... What they really want is a black dude that's on TV. I know that for a fact. They want a black dude who's on TV. Am I right? Me you too. <laughs> Am I right? Come on. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, man. You know, there's something for everybody. I think. No, there ain't. I see a lot of you guys. Both can get women, is what I'm saying, right. and you could too when you were a young man for a minute or two. Get them now. I could even get them now. I don't know my, about my that. Fucking po- no, because they want to. They hear me on the podcast. They think I'm like crazy, but then. Once a pod, when the, once a podcast is Trailer over, trash. I don't, I have nothing That's to say, get, huh? You get trash. Yeah, it's still, it's still wet. I guess you're right. There you go. I mean, it's a pussy's a pussy, right? Anyway, hey, women need to fuck somebody. <laughs> I see women walking around the city. I'm like, I can't believe she's with this dude. Like, I see a lot, especially on the weekend. I see all these good looking women with not good looking dudes. So, but they gotta fuck somebody. So just everyone. A lot of women in the city. No, there's a, a lot, lot of women. women. In the city. Yeah, a lot of women. A lot of women. In the there's city. more women than men, and then there's all these gay. Men. I mean, gay guys. What I say? Anyway, I just want to see Eric fucking. I mean, Derek. Eric. <laughs> it's my fucking second show of the day, and also it's Monday. People go like Monday. Yeah, it's a work day. Yeah, but I work every day. I work Friday, Saturday night, mm-hmm. and then I have my and I gotta watch my kids on Sunday. I got no day off. This is like my day off mm-hmm. doing this show because I don't have to run the board. I don't have to worry about nothing. And then Tom comes in, he saves every episode. Right, Tom? Every time I'm here. Hell. Yeah. Yeah, so Derek's okay. basically saying Tom gets pussy. I did. He used to, yeah. He's your got a girl mom now. knows about know. that? I mean, well, she does now. No, but she, I know you're tight with your mom. So she knew all, she would talk to her about the women you're, you're slapping around? I mean, she listens to every goddamn podcast I'm on, so she's as probably you do? aware. I miss this, Tom. <laughs> it's Jeannie. Hi, Mrs. Jeannie Cassidy, Tom. I have one more idea for Comedy Club, where I dress her up like a comedy club. How do you even club. tell her? <laughs> I dress her up like a comedy club, and she's like, that's my son. <laughs> that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, but why, why do you even tell your mom what are you going to do? What are you going to be on? She'll find out. Well, she yeah. can't find out. Jeannie does research. My sister fucking subscribes to this network. Just, just so she can know when you're on? Yeah. How, what's your sister look like? She's a you with You with bigger glasses? Yeah, she's an attractive <laughs> lady. <laughs> It's so weird when you think about, like, my sisters, because... Uh-huh. You get so mad when I mention your fucking Irish sisters. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just like, I, when I think about my sister, could you think about your sister having sex with somebody right now? Could I? Derek? No, I'm just kidding, of course. But, like, no, but, like, when when you think about it, when your sisters, like, I can't even... I, I still can't... I segues st- from I still pussy can't. to only pussy anyway. No, Derek I can't. fucking your sister. Anywho, like... No, I didn't want just... to talk about this, but I still can't imagine my sisters having sex with somebody. They're all married, aren't they? Most yeah, of them. But they're all they're all like prudish to me. You know what I mean? Like I like a woman, like I, I like a New York woman who's like, you know, dirty and fucking. Exactly. Like, she's a maverick. Yeah. 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 You don't know where she's coming or where she's yeah. going. Yeah, you don't Always know where she's been. Different yeah. ways to try to convince me that you don't want to fuck your sisters every time I'm here too. <laughs> I bring it up every time? <laughs> yeah. About my sisters. Yes, you always bring up your sisters. I've ever brought up fucking it's not my true. sisters. not true. You told a show. story before about, like, finding your sister's underwear or some shit or some weird shit like My that. brother. My brother found it, and then we smelt it together. <laughs> 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 and one of my brothers, bad. one of my brothers, Tom, I shouldn't say his name. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll mix it up. Thomas. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> He, I think he got caught in my sister's drawer, her underwear drawer, because you know we were we were all on the third floor. We all had rooms on the third floor. She had her own room, so he shouldn't have been in there. And uh, and apparently she busted him because she was like, "What the?" F-? She I don't know if she cursed, but she screamed at him, mm. and he came running. And that's out. when things got hot. <laughs> <laughs> he came running out, and uh, I, we never we never asked because we lived in a, a don't ask, don't tell situation right. and, with ten kids and two parents. You know, any of your brothers and sisters gay? No. Hmm. I mean, One of them probably is. Let's talk about, let's talk about openly woke. 
Yeah. No, why one brother who lives still is in Philadelphia? Like he's 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 not nothing. He's he's nothing. He's never had a girlfriend. Never had a boyfriend. Never had nothing. And he he's always like this, like anti anti. That's a, those are some red flags. Isn't that odd? Know? Yeah, he's probably gay. But no, but he's like he he he. The thing is, he, I don't think he I don't think he's like. Well, who knows? I don't know. He's but asexual, yeah. asexual. Well, he's like something statistically. It wasn't Thomas. What was sure. that called? Huh? Yeah, agnostic. <laughs> statistically, someone has to be something. You know what I mean? I I know statistically we all we a bunch of us have STDs. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't like doesn't like. In this fucking thirty-three percent of the people have like an STD or like fifty percent. One so. out of four, something like huh? that. One out of every four people. Yeah, so so probably me and the sister that I had sex with. Oh probably, man, I'm just doing it's just a callback. Don't make a fucking face, Tom. You're, you're like the lawyer who like all of a sudden we're like, oh, don't tell me that because I I don't want to know that. I don't want. Sorry, Kevin. When OJ told fucking uh, Kardashian he really killed him. You watch those OJ shit, it's unbelievable, like, how much Kardashians and they're like, their family's so fucking, they, like, made a deal with the devil, and then nobody gives a shit. Because the, the women survive, the guys all go crazy, he died, the fucking Kardashian guy died, she, like, kills people, you know what I mean? That mom, mm -hmm. he just kills people off. Anyone she don't, she don't need anymore, they get killed. The father, Black Widow, man. Huh? Black Widow Spider. Black Widow, absolutely. No Black doubt. Black Widow Spider. Like, no doubt. You're like InfoWars, except for reality six television stars. Two six bras is tricky. Yeah. I no, because look, look at all, look at, look at, I mean, it's been played out, but like, look at what happened to the, the guys. See the Hollywood, did you see the Hollywood uh, reporter cover of the, all the whole, all the Kardashian girls? Yeah, yeah. Wow. The decade of Kardashian or something? Yeah, and then, and then the, 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 the horse one, what's her name? Chloe? She. She got she got hot. She's man. definitely she not. Oh, that's, that's all OJ's makeup. daughter. That's all makeup. OJ's no, she's daughter. She's not OJ's daughter, but she's somebody because he he. If you looked at her even from behind, fucking. you would come. They weren't fucking. They weren't fucking when oh, when she had him. But they weren't fucking, and she's like a giant compared to the rest of them. So she's definitely not. But like, look at what happens to any dude in their family. Like he, the one turning like Bruce. It's just it's a fucking mess, you know. Yeah. And it start. I think it started with the OJ thing. Like they just made a deal with the devil. Like. Is how it's gonna be, and then she's like, "What the fuck, you know?" Anybody made a deal with the devil? It's those bitches for sure. Uh, wow. <coughs> all right, we're gonna wrap this up soon, cause I, I, you guys got, don't you guys gotta get all the things? The, you gotta get the like, it's like New Year's Eve here with the confetti and everything, <laughs> and, and balloons and everything. And you have to have like a thing, and I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying not to say who's gonna be, but I really, so I don't want to fucking choke and and say it by accident. Aaron Berg texted me and said, "Stop talking about sex with Brennan." Aaron Berg, your friends at Aaron Berg. Yeah. Shout out to Aaron Berg. I'm supposed to work he's, out with him. A, you're supposed to work out with him. Yeah, he's going to help me get my arms <laughs> bigger. You don't need it. You're on TV. <laughs> so, well, how tall are you? Six three. Yeah, my, yeah, tell Aaron Berg. First of all, tell him to become six three, and then you'll fucking talk to him. What? Because he, he's like a right. A little guy, but yeah, he's, he's little, so that's why he's got to compensate. You don't need to compensate. All right. Thanks, man. I you appreciate take, that. If so you're good. gonna go, take Tom. Tom. If Tom could use a little, uh, a little right? muscle would be nice. About that little fucking yeah, medium little shirt. Maybe for next year. There you go, boy. Even the way he talks, women like that. Women like a guy who's like studious because they Relaxed. he's reliable. Sure. So <laughs> you're probably a good listener too, right? I'd like to think so. So if if you because you go to the diner with a lady after you she had a couple of drinks, she likes to talk, and then and then you're a good listener. They'll fuck you. It's like the a tell joke about the when you love it if you if uh, you pull down. <laughs> You pulled on a guy's pants instead of a dick. Another ear was there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big listening ear. It's so funny. Because <laughs> women, you know, women like to fucking talk. It's so, right? You're a good listener. There's a that's million the ways angle. to get laid. There's that's a the million ways to tell, get laid. If that's what you want to tell yourself, fine. Let's do plugs. Okay. Me and Derek will be at the Stress Factory this Thursday. You're here to plug your Stress Factory date, right? You have New Jersey people who listen to this? Hey, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Hey, stress, factory stress Factory this Thursday 8 at 8. It'll be a great show. I can 8. vouch for good. Derek. I've seen him. I, I mean, I, I know Tom. I've never seen his act, but Jimmy Jimmy vouches for it, so that's a big, that's yeah, we'll a big, take it. That's a big street vouch. It's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be hilarious. It's going to be uh, hilarious at the very least. They don't have an MC yet, so if you have any fucking MC skills. You might give Kevin a guest spot if he wants to come through. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call you? What, what do you call when you do that MC when you scratch? What do you call it? You literally just said what you it's called, you fucking idiot. Is that what it is? Are you still call scratching? Yeah. Why would that change? Why would that change? Well, cuz everything changes. All right. You're tripping. Even even the fucking oh, I'm tripping. Is that, is that still <laughs> or is that something else? Anyway, I'll be at the uh 
Where am I? I'm Poughkeepsie this this Saturday. I want to sell that shit out because I know Aaron says they they do well up there. Mm -hmm. I think they got a big following up in the fucking up in the mountains up there near Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie, right along the river. Mm -hmm. What do you guys call the river? A river. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Are you afraid of black people? I'm making myself laugh. I sometimes yeah. I make myself because I knew he was going to say the river and I was going to laugh. <laughs> I sometimes I can predict uh, the future. If I say, what do you call it? He goes, the river. I, I know he's going to laugh. I get it. And then maybe someone driving a car will laugh. Now we're just trying to bring a little laugh to people I get it. their yeah. fucking yeah. miserable commutes. Absolutely. Miserable commutes. Let's see on Monday, right? Who's ready for a commute? <laughs> anyway, so uh, eclipse at that. I'll be at uh, Laugh It Up Comedy Club on the 26th. This is this Saturday, and this night of the McGregor <laughs> Mayweather yeah, fight. I know, I know. No, but it'll be over before. It'll be over before. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be great. No, it's one show. Yeah. What time's the show? Early. Eight? Maybe six. <laughs> they don't fight till late. They don't fight till no, late. No, they don't even start. They don't start till midnight. Yeah. Like they'll say 1130, but it won't start till midnight. Because there's nine there, and they, don't, they know the whole world's going to fucking watch anyway. Yeah. Saturday night, they know no one's going to go to bed. Mm. Anyway, so my prediction for that is, uh, I'm making a prediction. Uh, my prediction for that is that uh, I know the white boy's gonna lose because white boys always lose. But I think it's gonna be something. I think, uh, I think, I think, uh, I think Mayweather might actually do it a little thing so they can have a fucking uh, a, a, a number two like Rocky. You know what I mean? I think he might Rematch. actually. I think he might lose a little bit just to make it a compelling fight so they can do an, a sequel. I don't think it'll go past seven rounds. It left seven rounds a long time. I mean, if he go past, if he goes past five, it's a, I think it's a long fight. Yeah, I actually. Because they don't know, they don't even know if the guy can fight like like that. You know, he's gonna lose really. He might, is he allowed to kick at all? No, no it's a boxing match. Boxing match. <laughs> no, I thought like maybe he gets one kick around. No. All right. Anyway, so I think uh, the the black guy will win, just like they'll win many uh, athletic events. Like a, <laughs> the black they, guy are will they win gonna, this event and you know, every like a event. triathlon where they have to race too, foot race, because he's gonna win that. No, I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be something. I don't think he's gonna just beat the shit out of him because that would just everyone will get mad. They'll be like, oh, we got ripped off. He's, there's gonna be he can't just beat him up in 30 seconds like hey, Tyson used to do. No, because it'll just be weird. Tyson used to beat you up 10 seconds. Yeah, because he was an animal, and then yeah. and then people people paid to see that. They want to see that fucking beast beat the shit out of people. Tyson in his prime could have beat up anybody. 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 You know, they say, like, this guy, he would have beat the fuck out of in, in his prime with, with Gus D'Amato or whatever, he would have beat up anybody any, of any era. He might not have been able to beat up Ali in his prime. Yeah, he would have, because he was a beast. He was a fucking, he was like a pit bull it, in the ring. Argument. He was a vicious animal. Ali was so fast. It's a man. He, he was fast for the 60s. He, he would have beat the <laughs> shit out of him. He would have beat the living fucking shit out of There's him. An argument to Tyson would have lost to nobody. He could have beat up Ali and Frazier. <laughs> Why'd you stand yeah, up? As a threesome. As a threesome. Anyway, uh, so we're done. Good luck to, to with the announcement. Uh, uh, oh, uh, there'll be a stress factory Thursday. I'm sure I'll do a drop by, do a guest. Yeah. Set. That'd be great. That'd be it great. might come in. Just take the train. Come in. All right, God bless. Thanks to Steve Torelli, his great pictures, and uh, Chad from the first show. Chad's got nothing to do, that's why he's still here. <laughs>